This is Ms. Faye from Princeton University, and I am so excited about your first day of school. If you're excited, say, yeah, that's me. Oh, I can't hear you. Say it louder. If you're excited, say, yeah, that's me. So a little about me is I am a teacher. I was teaching first grade before, and now I am super excited to teach kindergartners just like you. So now that you're part of Ivy Hill Prep, every day when you see my videos, we are going to do story problem together. We're going to do, yes, it's called a story problem. In story problems, we read a problem and solve it using our knowledge or what we know about numbers and our cubes or our paper and pencil. So we are just going to show the best way we can solve the problem. And I am so excited to see your brains pumping. So as I'm reading this problem, I know you're going to be thinking very carefully. You're going to be thinking very carefully. You're going to be... Before we start, we need to make sure that you have your pencil, your spiral notebook, and your unifix cubes. Your unifix cubes look like this. Have those ready. And now, while I'm reading, you're just going to fold your hands. You're going to? Yes. We fold our hands and we sit up straight and our eyes are always on the paper. Our eyes are always on the? Yes, you got it, on the paper. So right now, you're going to listen to me read the problem three times. I'm going to read it, yes, three times. And then we're going to solve. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Omarion, he's a new kindergartner. Let's keep reading. Omarion had five cupcakes. Miss T gave him two more cupcakes. How many cupcakes does Omarion I'm going to read it again. Make sure you're listening here as you're on. Omarion had five cupcakes. Miss T gave him two more cupcakes. How many cupcakes does Omarion have now? One last time. Omarion had five cupcakes. Miss T gave him two more cupcakes. How many cupcakes does Omaria have now? All right, parents, if this was school, we would cover this sheet up and ask the scholar to repeat the problem. So now that I've said it three times, you can pause the video and your scholar can try their best to tell you what this problem is about. So glad you're back. I heard you tell mom or daddy what you listen to in this problem. So now we're going to solve it. Are you ready to solve? Say yes, I'm ready. Yes. So to solve their problems, this there are two ways. There are the first way is with our cubes. It's with our yes, our cubes. So before I solve, I know as a great mathematician, I'm going to read the problem again and see what I need to do. Omaria had five cupcakes. I'm going to stop right there. How many cupcakes did Omaria have? Yes, five. So I know that I need to take from my stick and have and show five cupcakes. Can you count with me? Yes, you are so kind. So let's count together. I need to show five. I need to show. And as I'm taking each cube and putting it on the paper, I know you're going to be counted with me. Let's get started. One. Oh, I know you're counting as it's going up. Two. Three. Oh, listen to the loud and proud voices. Four, five. I have five cupcakes. Am I done solving the problem? What? I'm not. So what do I need to do 
and then we're going to write our answer and circle it. So Omarion has seven cupcakes. Say, Omarion, you're so lucky. Yes, he is. So friends, now that we saw showing two strategies, it's your turn. Say, it's my turn. Yes, it's your turn to solve the next problem on your own. I'm going to read it, and then we get to solve it. Let me go ahead and read it. Isabella, Isabella is another new kindergartner. She loves to write, so let's see what the story problem says. Isabella had four pencils. Her mom gave her three more pencils. How many pencils does Isabella have now? Isabella had four pencils. Her mom gave her three more pencils. How many pencils does Isabella have now? One last time. Isabella had four pencils. Her mom gave her three more pencils. How many pencils does Isabella have now? So parents, at this time, your thought should be ready to solve the problem using one of these strategies. Friends, point to the strategy that you think you're going to use. Point to it. Is it number one or is it number two? Whoa. So I can't wait to see your work on your paper. Mommy and Daddy are going to upload your work tonight for me to see what strategy you use. So go ahead and get to work and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.